Hi and welcome back. We are now going to do part three of my reading for my very special friend. She was asking what blockages there are in her current connection. So she strongly feels and I also strongly feel that she is currently dealing with the soulmate or twin flame and that this person has a lot of blockages going on. And these blockages have been hindering the progress of the connection. So we've seen that the main blockages so far have been the ego getting in the way. We've seen that he may be feeling a bit overwhelmed with work and his personal life and he's not quite sure whether a romantic relationship would fit in to his current life or his current lifestyle. Um, we've also seen that he's completely not aware of this connection because perhaps my friend is the more spiritual one in the connection and he is not entirely aware of the connection just yet. So I'm just going to get a few advice cards because I've done three parts. I've done the videos, I've done the reading in three parts. Mm, look at that, the fool just jumped out. So yes, there's definitely a message of someone has to take a leap of faith. So this could be him needing to let go of his ego and his pride and just think of the future and what he really wants out of life because you know it is possible to have a career and a love life and free time and friends. It is difficult but it is very possible. Right now, it doesn't seem possible to him. My goodness, look at this good energy. Four of Wands, it's in reverse. Just telling me that someone is not aware of the connection just yet. That is the Twin Flame card, 1111 right there. It is the Marriage card, the Happy Home card. It is all coming, but it's not in your immediate energy because it's not in the upright. Okay? You are on the right path. It is all coming your way. Someone is just very satisfied with where they are at. Someone is holding on to what they have. They kind of like a little bit stuck still. Not realizing that there is so much more out there for them. Page of Wands could be a message coming in. Normally a message that needs someone to take action. Or it's the message I was talking to you about. And this is you sending him the message that requires a response. It's in reverse because he's, at the time that I'm filming this video, he still hasn't responded to that message because he's been like this up until now. Taking time out from the world, really. Um, although he seems to be very busy with his, his work and, you know, um, performing at various different locations, it doesn't mean that, you know, he's he hasn't been feeling like that. This could also just mean exhaustion, hey? Someone is feeling exhausted to the point where, like, their whole body just feels like, I need to rest, because if I don't rest, I will get sick. Rest is important, but something has been causing sleepless nights and anxiety. And there's a decision surrounding that. So someone is in two minds about something. There's indecision about something. Um, this could be him. Maybe starting to sense the connection, but he's not quite sure about the connection yet. Or he's trying to figure out, does she have more than friendship feelings for me? She must have. Um, it's a feeling of inner conflict, inner turmoil. It's like, am I imagining this? Is it too good to be true kind of thing? Could also be coming from your side, but I feel like it's not hectic energy from your side. It's not like sleepless nights, but it has been on your mind heavily. With the High Priestess, there's a message about trusting your intuition, and it is the card of Taurus. Someone is not trusting the intuition. This is him. He's not going with his gut. He's blocking that spiritual aspect. He's blocking 
He's not intentionally doing it because I don't know if he's as spiritual as you are. But I'm feeling like he's not trusting what his gut is telling him. And his gut is telling him that this is definitely a soul connection. Maybe because he's not quite aware of it. And he's showing up as the Page of Swords. So yes, he's still spying on you very much. Looking at your social media from a distance. I feel like he doesn't even know that you've noticed it. Because it's in reverse. He feels like, you know, um, I can just have a look. I can try and suss her out. Try and see what she's all about. And again, we have the Emperor in reverse. Please don't fall on the floor again. Ah, oh, and the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Every time when I flip this deck, there's just some amazing, amazing message. So, you had the Queen of Cups with the King of Cups previously, in the previous video. Now you have the Emperor and the Empress, and look at that. The Emperor again is in reverse. The Empress in the upright. You're aware of the connection, he is not. But he's catching on, hey? He's really starting to catch on. He's starting to realize that there's more to the connection than meets the eye. Starting to place it. Starting to realize that um, it's definitely more than just friendship. But he's struggling to move forward. So, I hope that reading helped. I certainly know what is blocking the connection now. I hope you do too, or you have a little bit more clarity at least. I feel a bit better because I feel like the connection is definitely still coming. It is there with that Four of Wands. We've seen it. We've seen it with the Ace of Cups. We've seen it with the Soulmate card with the Six of Cups. We've seen it with the Emperor and the Empress, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Lovely, beautiful energy. Wow, I'm so excited for you. I really appreciate that you allowed me into your space again. And we will definitely see how the situation progresses. Thanks to everyone else for watching. Thank you for all the support. Bye.